Hey guys, welcome to Jason here again today and in today's video I'll be showing you one of the methods I use for germinating all my pepper seeds. Now, I'll be using this Calteras Professional uh, Germination Mix in today's video. And this method requires no additional heating like a heat pad, just normal sunlight. So, first of all, let's get this all ready. So just add a little bit of soil in the container and then just make it a little bit wet. Now mix it all a little bit through. Just like this. This is just normal tap water I'm using, but uh, you can use some uh, bottled water if you'd like. So, just like this. And I'll be planting the seeds in uh, normal 5 cm uh, little pots from a few seeds in one, just to make sure I get a good germination rate. So, let's start with uh, filling all of the containers with all of the pots with soil. I'll be planting 8 varieties today, uh, which includes some uh, Pudgy Lemon Drop, Chocolate Coast, 7 Pot Primo Chocolate, 7 Pot Dagla, Chase Peach Coast Scorpion, Yellow Carolina Reaper, Red Carolina Reaper and some Pepper Triple X. All coming from my own collection that I saved throughout the season, uh, that I sell the seeds of as well. So, first of all, just get a chopstick again. And I'll just make a little hole, just about five, uh, five millimeters to one centimeter deep. Each one, this is the Red Carolina Reaper I'm doing now. So just with everyone, make a small hole. Just like this. Now, get your lovely seeds. You can get some at uh, Valcap Sesam if you would like to uh, buy some seeds from me. So, just 
add, I'm going to add so about three seats in each one because uh, I've got quite a lot so I like playing around with it. So, just like this, just a small hole, then you just close up the hole with the soil, just like this, each one. You just gently want to close, uh, close up the hole, you don't want to tap too hard on it because you want the seeds to get uh, some oxygen as well just uh, to prevent uh, some rot growing on the seeds so yeah and then you can just put these aside for now because I'm going to do a lot of other ones now so yes just sit back and watch as I do it When you're done planting the seeds, just get yourself a spray bottle with uh, uh, water and just add a little bit more water to each pot, but uh, not too much because you just want to keep it just moist, no dripping wet, just moist and you never want the soil to dry out. So yeah, just each pot, just add a little bit more water. Okay, 
just like that. And now the first, uh, you can call it method I'll be using is just the normal simple bag method. Then you can just take your small pots, place it into the simple bag, just like this, and then just close it up. Put this one aside for now. Get another circle pack. Add the pots. ruin this one and then the last one just like this And now all of these bags, you can just place it in a sunny spot in your home, preferably on a windowsill that uh, gets a nice little bit of sun, but uh, just watch out that uh, they do not get too uh, wet. So yeah, and then uh, after a day or so, you can just open it up, spray a little bit more water and allow the humidity to build up a little more and that will help uh, speed up the process with germination. Yeah. Now the second way I use it, basically it's uh, basically the same, but just uh, different containers. This one is just a clear see-through container, just a added uh, piece of uh, wire underneath just to keep the pots a little bit uh, suspended above the plastic. Just if you get a uh, lot of water in the container, you won't get it into the soil and uh, then the soil won't get uh, too wet. So yeah, just uh, place all your remaining pots in the container just like this now the nice thing about using a small 5 cm is 5 cm pots is a uh, as soon as they germinate, you can take each one out and uh, put them under lights or uh, take them out of the container because as soon as they germinate, you do not want to keep them in the container with the humidity because the stems will uh, rot and they will die. So as soon as they germinate, take them out and introduce them to uh, the outdoors. So yeah, and just get your spray bottle again and just spray each, each pot again. Like I said before, not too wet, just moist. Okay, just like this. Then you can just spray the lid a little bit. And then you're done. Then you can place this one as well in a indoors at the in a windowsill and just allow it to get a little bit of sunlight just to build up humidity and heat. And you'll get germination anywhere from five days to two weeks. Now when, you, when you're using a heat pad, you'll definitely get uh, a faster germination time. But uh, if you do not want to go the step, a step further with getting a heat pad and all those uh, stuff, just use this method. S clear seafood container with your small pots inside, or the good old Ziploc bag with the each pot inside.
So yeah, that's the way I'm germinating my seeds. Now I'm using another method which includes an incubator for all the exotic seeds uh, I uh, germinate. Uh, just to make sure I get some uh, good germination rates because I know my incubator is working very very well but this one is also working like a bomb so yeah I'll be uh, showing the incubator in the upcoming video but for now it's just this method and this, this is a method everyone can do and you can get some great success with it so yeah thank you for watching and uh, if you would like to uh, see the plants I grow and the pots, remember to check out my Instagram at the Vol Capsaicum and yeah, you can see all the plants I grow there. Some nice chocolate ghost I've got left. And some KS lemon, lemon starburst. Very tasteful uh, pepper, this one. And then my Carolina Reaper crossed with a chocolate ghost. So yeah, thank you for watching.